Hello guys, this is Mephisto and we are playing Baby Joe in Going Home. The plot of this game is very simple. Oh my God. Hello guys, this is Mephisto when we are playing Baby Joe in Going Home. The plot of this game is very simple. We're a baby, we're going home. And uh, yeah, this is another example of bad parenting. I don't know where our parents are. They left us somewhere here in the wilderness with a lot of dangerous animals like these bees and hornets and a lot of fire. Um, crazy clouds that could kill us with lightning. These bugs here. There's fridges coming out of trees. There are these crazy, crazy flowers that could potentially kill us. There's a lot of stuff that could kill us. Uh, I, I haven't played this game for 23, 22 years. Um, I played it, I think, the first time when I was 4 or 5, not much older than this little fella. I totally suck at it. So I'm being honest, I'm using um, an unlimited lives cheat here, uh, because otherwise I would get, I would need to get into um, this game too much. And I don't want that, I just want to have some... Uh, I don't want to get into this game too much, so I'm using a, a cheat here. And um, otherwise I really would need to practice. But for me, it's right now just about this nostalgic feeling. I try to play it as serious as possible, though. Like, this is a very dangerous situation here with these flowers. No, you don't want to step on these flowers because they're avenging themselves. Like this right now, and then there's this bee or hornet or whatever. Um, and still, we need to be careful about our diapers and about our milk very realistic baby simulator got that health pack over here these uh, eggs are dangerous when you get hit by them because by those um, birds that are crapping eggs you can hit, get hit, hit by anything um, the eggs are actually beneficial for you when uh, when they hit the ground, then you can eat them, get some points, get some points for bananas. Trying to get this milk, I don't know when we get the next milk. Oh, okay, I'll leave that alone here. And then there are these logs that can kill you. I'm just running through that flower field here. You see they're shooting some stuff at us. That is the direction home. We have this little Duffy Duck character. Hi there, how about a carrot? First duck that eats carrots. Here's some advice, find the signs of the hidden treasures. I don't remember what the hidden treasures are. So we have some weapons. Ah, oh, you can hurt yourself with the weapons. Uh, you can also hurt, kill these bugs. That makes everything a little bit easier. Uh, we're going up to the clouds because it's nice in the clouds. There is some nice stuff going on. Um, yeah, also one of the reasons I'm using cheat codes is because I, I don't think that the controller right for me now. I may, may need a good, better joystick or something. So when we hit the clouds the bad clouds that are shooting lightnings at us um, then they turn to nice clouds that we can step on and get a transportation system but not now we just need new diapers now opening this present this might be super diapers Something down here. Oh no, I want to prefer going up. Uh, 
we immune when we're drinking milk. We didn't get that milk. Ran out of it. We're just jumping around here. My strategy in that field is to go as fast as possible. Oh. I want to hit that bad cloud twice. Now it's a nice cloud that can transport us. Just lost my two last weapons. Get some new weapons. Oh, there's a new diaper. And I think we have immunity now. Oh, thanks God, thank God the fire didn't kill us. Oh, also the fridge did, doesn't, didn't kill us. That flowers can't hurt us right now. There's, there are pre- Oh, these are terrible presents. They kill us. They hit us with the cheese. Now there, there are good, there's good stuff that falls from the trees and then, then there are also fridges and like these weights and so on. You see, you saw that fridge on the right. All of which could potentially hurt us. These flowers can hurt us. Lightnings can hit us. So a lot of dangerous stuff going here. Uh, I mean, you, need, you really need to be focused as hell when you want to play that game legit. Um, and you need to know every single danger that is awaiting you. And my health is already very low. I get hit by the fire and I get killed again. Um, yeah, okay, but basically I, I admit that I suck in this game. Um... Oh no! Oh, I'll get hit by the fire again. Okay, I think the best strategy is just running forward. Not letting yourself get hit by the flowers. Or oh, by the fire. So I'm just running. Jumping. Here's another jump we have to make. Uh, these are all terrible presents here. Supported by the balloon. Oh, I'm staying low here. Climbing on the mushrooms, climbing on the clouds. Now we, I think we need something for our health, because there are irons coming out of the trees. That's some crazy scenario. I'm pretty sure this um, baby is going to be scarred for its life. Don't have anything to hit the bad clouds. So for me the strategy that works is just running fast through everything, not bothering. So we need to bother about this jack in a box. This is one step further, or also some terrible presents. We don't want to get them. And we're stuck. Maybe now we have to go through the clouds. Oh yeah, there's the direction home. Okay, the bee hit, didn't hit us. We're lucky here. 
No. Still don't want the baby to cry. Is actually very difficult. It's not an easy game. Look, there were like three bees coming to me, coming on me at once. I don't know if I ever finished the game without any cheats. And I think they're coming more and more every time I get hit, killed. Wow. This is just a crazy amount of bees. Okay, that's enough bees. <laughs> really needed to focus on this one. Um, it's even difficult when you have unlimited lives. Oh! There is a bad sun. Even I can't remember this one. Out of the fire. Oh no. And get killed again. Especially if you don't know the way then uh, you need to go. Then this game is difficult. A situation like this with a lot of fire around with this uh, plants that hit you and the sun really need to know the game very very well well ah okay get hit by the fire so if you don't know this game by heart it's basically impossible to beat it it's a little bit like uh, Prince of Persia of course without the time component um, But that's the way these classic jump and run games uh, worked. Is that you need to know them very, very well. And if you know every booby trap and whatever, then you can finish it. Um, I mean, part of the reason why it worked like this was that you. Um, had only a limited amount of space on the disc or whatever you on the, or on the cartridge or whatever you had back then you see I'm getting killed all the time in this situation and it's not an easy task right here um, you had a limited amount of space and you didn't want to have like just half an hour fun because that's uh, because I'm sure that that game has about, when you walk through it, when you beat the game, it's, you may finish it in half an hour or something, or an hour. I remember I finished um, Scooby-Doo, Scooby and Scrappy-Doo, uh, the game in, ha in about half an hour. And I think this game is all, even a bit older. I'm getting killed all the time here at this spot. It's the bad sun that kills me. Yeah, 
Okay, I think I'm quite safe here. Oh no! Okay, I finally got this. Wow, that was hard. That was like super hard for me. Okay, we need to go uh, down here. Ah. Well, I just... Um, <laughs> I just got killed multiple, multiple times. Uh, I'll probably cut that out. So we have the dark again now and our friendly competitor arrives triumphantly to the end of the first level. Password UP. Yeah, that's good to know. Ah yeah, so when you get killed in the second level then you can just start over. Um, and get this password. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not sure whether I would need that. So we get our milk first health pack and some diapers and get into the second level in the caves. <laughs> 